To give you a quick overview of our Nikon microscopes, starting at the top, these are the oculars. They are magnified. This is what you will look through. You should not need to adjust the ocular. When I open the ocular all the way, you may be able to see that there is an etched line. The ocular needs to be even with that etched line. Continuing down, this is the arm of the microscope. This is called the revolving nose piece. The different power objectives are attached to the nose piece. When focusing the microscope, you always start with the scanning or 4X objective. Switch to the 10. Notice as I switched between objectives, I did not grab the objective to turn. You, gra you turn by grabbing the nose piece itself. Proper order is to go from 4 to 10 and then in the micro lab, switching back to the 4 and then the 100. You do not use the 40X objective in this lab. This area is the stage. This is where the microscope slide is placed. These knobs allow you to move the stage to get your microscope slide in the proper orientation. Underneath the stage, this is the condenser. It controls the amount of light that comes in and narrows the light beam. A special part of the condenser is a switch located here. This switch is called the diaphragm. It is actually what opens and closes to control specifically the amount of light that comes in. Down at the bottom, this is the light source where the light comes from. These two knobs are your focus knobs. The large knob, you see as I turn that knob, it moves the stage up and down so much that you can see it. You should always start with the stage completely up, meaning you have turned it as far away from you as it will go. That way as you're focusing, you only need to turn the knobs towards you. While on my 4X objective, I use the course focus. Once I switch to 10, I can still use the course focus. Now that I'm focused on 10, you do not move your stage. You simply go to the 100. Now it is very important to only use the fine focus objective.